Let's move on to the next question. A curve is such that dy by dx is given to you by this. The curve passes through the point 1, 5. Okay, this is the passing point. This is my x value and my y value. Now we have to find the equation of a curve, so we have to find the y for that curve. This is what it means. The equation of a curve is basically y. Now, we have to understand to find y, we have to integrate dy by dx because integration is a reverse process of differentiation. So that's what we have to do. So y will be integration of dy by dx will be this plus 1 by dx. Now this will give you what? 3 is 3. Now x squared, the power, power we have to increase by 1, that will be 3, and divide by the same power. Then minus 4x, that will be increased by 1, divide by the same power, and then plus x, and plus c for the constant of integration. So y will be, y will be, this will go away, x power 3 minus 2x squared plus x plus c. Now, we have to use this point to find the value of c because it is unknown in this equation and we cannot leave our equation of curve with some unknown value. This is, y, is x and y replaced back in the equation. So 5 is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus c. So this will cancel out. So 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 is, is 0. So c will be the value of 5. So we conclude that the value of y, which is your equation, is going to be x power 3 minus 2x squared plus x. This is part 1 of the question. Now for part 2, we have to find the set of values of x for which the gradient is positive. Now we understand the gradient is simply dy by dx, so we are trying to find the values of x for which dy by dx will be more than 0. So let's replace and find out. Now we know the value of this is given to you by 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 is more than 0. Now for this kind of equation, we have seen this many times in AdMath, we have to first find the critical values. So let's equate that equation to the value of 0. Then we have to factorize. You will have this. This will become 3x times x, and 1 is simply 1 times 1. Now we need minus 4, so we have to have minus 3, and then minus 1. So again, this is how we multiply the brackets. This will multiply with this, and this will multiply with this. So 3x times minus 1 is minus 3, and then minus 1, that will be minus 4. So confirm, that will be the factorization of this. So x will be 1 over 3, and x will be the value of 1. Now this is the critical values that we have to use to find the range of values of x that we can use. Now because here we have a positive value, it will be a minimum curve. Right. Now this is the critical values over here that will be 1 over 3 and that will be 1, obviously, right? Now we need the values of x, it is more than 0, have to be up more and more. As you can see, above is 0 here, above 0 will be these two sides. So x have to be less than 1 over 3 and x have to be more than 1. So these will be the answer for the set of values of x for which the gradient is more than 0.